Hi guys, it's Morgan from The Treasure Trove and welcome to my natural makeup routine. This is the makeup that I wear probably most of the week when I'm in a hurry because, you know, I'm lazy and I don't get up in time to do my makeup before work. So it's just my natural makeup routine, especially for winter. Most of the products I use are cream products to get that dewy finish because my skin is really dry. So I just started off with putting on my moisturizer and doing my eyebrows and now I'm putting on my Wet n Wall Wild coverall foundation in the shade fair it's the foundation that matches me the best at the moment and I'm just gonna be buffing that in with a flat top kabuki brush that is my absolute favorite at the moment here I take a second to wipe off the beefaroni stains around my mouth Next I go in with a concealer to uh, correct my dark circles because you know I have uh, really really dark ones and this one is the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Concealer in the shade Apricot Beige. It's a little peachy tone so I find that it really corrects the uh, brown purple undertones and it's very very thin but I actually really like it. Most people hate it. I, it's very thin and very watery so it doesn't dry out my under eyes like other concealers do. Next, I use a concealer to cover up any blemishes on my face, and this is the Essence Match 2 Cover Concealer, and I just have this one big pimple on my face that I just spot over and then buff in with the Kabuki brush. Now, I've been doing something a little weird. I've been using my Too Faced Matte Eyeshadow Palette, and I've been taking the shade Cashmere Bunny, which is this like translucent white shade, and I've been using it to set my under eye concealer because it doesn't dry out my skin like other powders do. I know that's a little strange, but it works. It works really well. And now I'm singing to you. Great. Next, I'll take an eyeshadow base and I'll use it to cover up the, oh, and apparently I'll sing a jam to you, and I'll use it to cover up the hyperpigmentation that's on my lids, and this one is the Maybelline Color Tattoo uh, in Just Beige, I think. I don't have it with me, so I'm sorry if I don't have the correct color name, but it's just a simple matte cream eyeshadow and it sets completely matte and it really, really blocks out that nasty vein and brown veins that I have and the brown hyperpigmentation on my lids. And I just use my finger for this because I find that all the brushes I have really eat the, this product and I can't get the amount that I want and it looks patchy and uneven. So I just use my free applicators, which are my fingers. Then I go in with a flesh colored eye pencil and I don't even know what this is. I got it at the dollar store. It's LA Colors, I think. It's a double-ended eyeshadow eyeliner duo thing and it just really corrects that redness that I always have in my inner rim. It's really bad. I either have to put black or flesh in it because I just look like I have bloodshot eyes. And of course, gotta pile on all that mascara because I don't feel complete without a bunch of mascara. Sometimes I do this step and sometimes I don't. I'm taking my Too Faced No Makeup Makeup Face Palette and I'm using the bronzer just to warm up the contours of my face. Sometimes I go for this in the morning. It really depends on how much time I have. If I'm really crunched for time, I usually skip this step, but I like to do it just to warm up my face because sometimes I feel like I look very ghostly white and this just helps counteract that a little bit. Oh, and this is an e.l.f. complexion brush, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Apparently I accidentally deleted the clip of me showing you the product, but this is the e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip in Lilac Petal. It is a cream highlighter and it is my favorite cream highlighter. And I'm just dabbing this all over the high points of my face and I'm buffing it in with this e.l.f. powder brush, which is a flat top brush. It's $3 and I love it. It does. It's a very multi-purpose use brush. It can put on foundation, powder, and blend in cream products. I think it's really worth the money. I never really stopped to think about it. Totally worth the three bucks. 
Funny little side story about this highlighter, I accidentally left it in my car when it was below 32 degrees so it completely froze solid so when it melted again it all became super liquidy and it just was super disgusting. So that's a little fun fact for you. For blush I took this e.l.f. all over color stick in the color golden peach and I'm just building it up with my finger and then buffing it in with the same e.l.f. powder brush just because I like to be able to build up the color rather than just smearing it on my face and having way too much and it's a really nice cream blush. I like the effect it gives. Very dewy, very luminous, but not too much. And I keep brushing my hairs into my blush, which is totally what you want out of natural makeup. Just your hairs smeared all into your face makeup. For lips, I use my favorite natural lip color, which is NYX's Round Lipstick in Talia. It's very creamy and smooth, and it's a nice mauve color it's a, like a my lips but better shade I really hate that term oh yeah I smeared it all on my teeth and took a huge chunk out of my lipstick because that's what I do but it's yeah it's one of those my lips but better shades it's just a nice everyday shade So there's the completed look. This is how I look most of the time. Unfortunately, I wish I had time to do more uh, ostentatious and creative makeup looks, but sadly I don't because I'm too lazy, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you uh, learned something from me, uh, how not to put on makeup maybe, but if you liked this video, liked it, uh, subscribe if you like, and remember, stay cheap and lazy. Bye!